What's up everyone, TerraQuake here, and welcome back to our Pokemon Y walkthrough. In the last episode, we did a lot. Made our way through Santaloon Forest, Route 3, Santaloon City, and Route 22, all while catching our second team member, Litleo, who's going to come in handy in today's episode as we take on the first gym, which is headed by Viola, who is a bug-type user. She's also a uh, photographer. But for now, we got to deal with this lady who's kind of guarding the front entrance. I mean, what are you doing, lady? Get out the way, okay? But no, it turns out she's going to challenge us to a battle. And if we defeat her, she'll move out of the way. And not only that, but she will give you roller skates or roller blades, whatever you want to call them. So uh, she's just going to use a Zigzagoon. I mean, nothing threatening at all. Should be a very easy battle for you. And yeah, roller blades are like another sort of mode of transportation that you get in this game. Um, eventually we'll get the bike as well, so you're just gonna have a ton of different options to move around the region. I think they're like, are they slightly quicker than running? I think is what they are. Um, but I don't know, I always, like, anytime I play through these games, I never really find myself using rollerblades too often, but whatever. Maybe I'll test them out a bit more in this game. Actually, I'm not sure with how my, like, keypad is set up, but whatever. We get the roller skates, so that is uh, very nice. And she is then going to skate out of the way. And, oh, she just ran into the... Okay, it looks like she ran into the bush there. But now she's just going to be chilling outside the, uh, the front of the building. So let's go on inside and see what's popping. Now, first of all, this doesn't really look like much of a gym. I mean, where the heck do we go? There's just a bunch of, like, pictures on the wall. And uh, we can talk to this guy. I don't think, you know, this isn't, like, Gen 5... I don't think we get a fresh water. Yeah, this dude isn't as good as Clyde. Y'all remember Clyde, right? Clyde was our boy. But yeah, he's going to tell you you can hop down this little rope and you're going to land on a ginormous like spider web. Ooh, scary. Where's the big spider? No, don't worry. There's no big spider that's going to pop out and get you. So let's uh, make our way through here and take on the trainers in the process. There's going to be three um, gym trainers for us to fight. But because I have a fire type, I mean, this gym... I'm expecting it to sort of be a breeze. I'm not too worried. Um, now, if you do get weak in here and need to go back and heal, you're gonna want to head back to where you drop down, and then I think you can uh, you can just hit like A or something. You gotta hit one of those buttons, and you can climb back up the thing. And wow, that did not do a lot of damage. I really do think we have better physical attack right now. Let's see how much headbutt does. Um, I'm hoping this kills. Litleo, don't disappoint me here. Okay, um, well, we didn't get a hit because we burned and flinched a Ladybug. Sorry, Ladybug. But, uh, yeah, I was hoping Ember would do a bit more, but whatever. Just means we gotta keep on gaining levels, I guess. Um, but yeah, I know some people, including me, have, like, trouble trying to go back to the middle and jump up on that rope. I wanna say all you have to do is hit A, but I could definitely be wrong about that as well. So in order to get to this guy, we're gonna wanna go down here and, uh, take him on. And yeah, my plan is just to keep Litleo in the front of the party for the gym trainers, and then I think I'll switch things up for the actual gym leader. Here's a Spupa, by the way, the evolved form of uh, of Scatterbug. Um, even though it's evolved this early on in the game, don't worry about it. I mean, it's like a Metapod or Kakuna. Um, however, the gym leader is going to have a Vivian, and that thing you probably do want to focus on a little bit. But yeah, Spupa or Spupa it kind of has an interesting design. You know, it's got a little cloak. I guess that's like kind of its uh, cocoon or whatever. Um, that's like halfway around its body. And we took down youngster Zachary. And uh, now let's go fight the final trainer. It is, uh, it's is—it's currently almost April for me. I'm recording this on a Saturday, March 30th to be exact. I mean, just crazy that we're already basically three months into 2024, man. We're a fourth of the way done. Ain't that something? But uh, yeah, it's a, uh, it's a pretty good Saturday. Got up this morning, got my run out of the way, and now I'm just recording a bunch of things. I'm recording three episodes of this, and then I'm sure as you guys have seen, my plan, well, hopefully this plan, uh, you know, does work. Um, I'm trying to do the Pokemon Gaia walkthrough right along with this walkthrough, so I'm, after this, I'm about to record three episodes of that. And then I am trying to record another uh, YouTube short for the main channel uh, by the end of the day. I might do that later tonight, though. And there we go. See, those are the one-shots I want to see, Leo. Like, let's go, man. So we take down the final last, and I mean, I'll save just in case. I feel pretty confident going into here. However, I will say I'm going to switch up um, the party a bit 
because I want Froakie to the front, and that is because um, Viola here, her first mod is actually going to be a Surskit, which is part water, and it knows Bubble. So, uh, yeah, it's only level 10, but do watch out if you are using Fire-type, because I know it's just a little weak Surskit, but um, I definitely don't want Lilio getting damaged before we have to take on her Ace. So this is uh, Viola. Again, she's like a camera woman, so she kind of has like a second occupation besides being a gym leader, which is kind of cool. I think a lot of the uh, a lot of the gym leaders are like that in this game. And she's going to begin with a level 10 Surskit, knowing Quick Attack, a Bubble, and a Water Sport. So it really can't do much to uh, to Froakie here. I mean, it can go for Quick Attack, but that's about the best it can do. And I mean, hey, this might be a little boring, but this is a literally just going to be a Quick Attack battle. Uh, between Froakie and Sursky. I mean, it's the best I can do. I don't think Lick is going to do any more. And, okay, Water Spore does kind of suck, actually. Um, I don't know if that ever wears off either, because that just means Ember's going to be doing less damage than usual um, once we send Litleo out. So I may really want to think about using Headbutt instead. Um, but... Fortunately, I mean, Kermit doesn't seem to have too many issues taking down Surskit. I think she might pop a potion here, though. Let's see. Yeah, she does. I'd rather her get the potion out of the way on Surskit instead, though. So I'm not really too mad about that. It'd be nice if we could, like, you know, get a get a cheeky little crit, maybe. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool, Kermit. That would be pretty cool. And, I mean, yeah, you can keep on bubbling me all you want. Does Bubble Beam have a chance to lower our speed? Yeah, it does. Okay, I mean... Alright, well, the Water Sport did fade, so that's good. Um, but yeah, I guess the speed drop doesn't matter too much since we are just going for Quick Attack. Please don't go for Water Sport. Um, well, actually, we're just going to take it out here. Okay, so that worked out just fine then um, because now Ember won't be weakened. So Kermit's going to get to level 13. And we're going to switch out and hopefully Litleo can handle Vivian by itself. So Vivian's the fully evolved form of Scatterbug. And I know it's like, you know, that early regional bug type Pokemon. So you might think it's weak, but still a fully evolved Pokemon for the first gym leader is uh, pretty strong. It knows the moves Harden, Tackle, and Infestation. Not really worried about Harden or Tackle. Infestation is a new bug type move to this game. Um, however, I don't think she's going to go for it since we resist it. But uh, yeah, Infestation does damage, and then it does residual damage after each turn. So think about like Fire Spin or one of those types of moves. And uh, I mean, yeah, it's it's not very strong in the first place. And because it's not very effective, I literally think that did like one or two hit points. And down you go. So Leo gets to level 14, and just like that, we have uh, we have defeated the first uh, the first gym leader. So that was not difficult at all. Um, I doubt all of the gym battles in this game will be that easy, but that is uh, that's pretty cool. So we get the what was it? I think the bug badge, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think the gym badges in this game have like unique names. I literally think they're named like after the typing. Actually, I could be wrong about that. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. And we'll get the TM for, of course, Infestation. So, I mean, if you have a bug type and you don't really have any better move to give it, um, then go ahead and teach it Infestation. I mean, it's not awful. And it does residual damage after all. But, I mean, it is still definitely one of the weaker moves in this game. All right, so this guy will congratulate us. Shut up. You're not as cool as Clyde. He was always giving us fresh waters and stuff and cheering us on. You're just some Clyde wannabe. And hey, look, here's my little uh, roller skate. So I guess I guess I will be using these a, uh, a good bit. But uh, yeah, because I don't know what the, what the, how to hop off of them. Is it my W? No, it's not. Okay, well, you know what? I guess we're using roller skates a bunch. <laughs> um, for now, though, that is, uh, that is it for this episode. Pretty short one, but, you know, I typically just uh, save gems for their own episodes. And uh, that gym was just really easy. So next time we'll be heading through Route 4 and getting to Lumios City. Um, for now, though, have a great rest of your day. And until then, deuces.